Hello everybody. I am not Drew. Drew is not here. Find out where Drew is in today's show. Also today, we will be drawing a Princess Llama. So start that harmonica music and let's get drawing. Start the harmonica music and let's get drawing. Look, I'm not going to sing the song, okay? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, otters and dragons and octopi, my name is Joe Fu. And I am the director here at Camp Pencil Point. And I am joined... By my very good friend, not Drew. I'm not joined by Drew tonight. He's not here. And uh, we're going to find out in a little bit where the heck he is. But not joined by Drew. But I'm joined by my very good friends. Everyone out there. All my Camp Pencil Pointer friends out there. Joining me live on this live stream or watching again on replay we're very happy that you joined us tonight if you like learning to draw and you like having fun drawing and you want to learn it using tomfoolery and nonsense please subscribe to our youtube channel all you have to do is hit the little subscribe button below in the description and you will be kept up to date with all of our live streams all of our videos any updates you'll be updated on a few years ago we started camp pencil point to create a safe place for kids of all ages to go and have fun drawing we encourage kids from the ages of 3 to 30 to 300 to sketch along with us and we encourage parents to draw along with their kids because 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 creativity is always better when it's a shared experience. So thank you for joining us tonight, the first day of March, Mugshot Festival of the Arts, which is over now, Flower and Garden, has started at Epcot. So those of you down in Epcot, enjoy Flower and Garden. Speaking of Disney, where the heck is Drew? Well, turns out I came in here, the wallet kind of fell off the thing, but I came in here, went to look in the budget, all the money that we saved up for the budget. As you know, we've been trying to save up money to buy the camp, the actual camp pencil point. Been saving money up like crazy, and then Drew always comes in and he takes all the money and he goes to Disney. So, where is Drew? I came in, looked at the budget, it's totally gone. It's totally empty. So I know exactly where Drew is. So Drew, I know you're on the line. Drew, what are you doing at Disneyland? Who, me? I'm not at Disneyland. What makes you think I'm at Disneyland? Drew, why Why are you even saying that? Like, look at, look. I mean, look, just look. The, the screen, your screen actually says live from Anaheim. You're wearing a Disneyland hat. And I could totally look in the background of the video and I could see, I could totally see your Disneyland bag. So when you're at the parks, that's how people find you by looking for that bag. So I totally see right there the Disneyland bag. No, no, that's not my Disneyland bag. No, you're just seeing things. I I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing because I know, I totally know you're, you took the money out of the budget. You flew to California and I know, I know for a fact that you're at Disneyland. Quiet, pig. I assure you, I am not at Disneyland. However, I did see your cousin that works at Disneyland and she gave me a hoodie for you. It looks good on you. Uh, no excuses, but... 
Oh. This is nice. Look. At Where's this? Wow, look at that. Oh. Thanks, cousin. All right. Well, there we go. Let's start sketching. So earlier this week, we threw out the call for people to chime in and give us suggestions on what we're going to draw this week today. Specifically today, on our Thursday, this is an octopus house activity, which means it's going to be a little more in-depth. Uh, I'm going to spend a little more time drawing, and it's going to be a little more complicated. Not complicated, but a little more, there's a little more to it. There's a lot more details going on. So we threw out the, the call to give us a suggestion on what to draw today. And we were not disappointed by the response that we got from our Camp Pencil Pointer friends out there. So we sent out the call on Instagram. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, there it is. Whoop! It's right over there. JoeFood22 is my um, Instagram handle. And then let me throw out Drew's because, you know, he does a lot of activities. He actually probably has more fun more fun photos to, to look at than I do. But mine are cool. Well, there's Drew's. Right here. Right there. I'm getting used to the reverse. There's Drew's right there. There's Drew's right here. <laughs> I'll get it. Uh, follow Drew and follow me. I'm going to put mine back up because Drew is not even here for any of this. So anyway, we threw it up on Instagram. Suggestions. We got a lot of great, great suggestions. I have my list right here on this pink piece of paper. Uh, Lilo the Lost Princess said snowboarding alligator in celebration of the Winter Olympics. That just concluded last week, and Olympics are pretty cool. I was pretty addicted to them. Um, the the <laughs> I'm going to screw some of these names up. The Mackie Mouse Club. I hope it's the Mackie Mouse Club. It's not the Macy Mouse Club. The Mackie, Ma the Mackie Macy Mouse Club said a frog prince. Robin's Net said uh, Gaston or Ursula, which is Drew's favorite Disney princess. Uh, that was a good suggestion. Um, Institutionalize said, an otter fighting hordes of platypus. Platypi. Platypus. Platypi. Is platypus. Platypi. Um, yeah, so maybe someday, like, maybe, like, Ninja, Ninja Ruby attacking some platypi. That's kind of fun. Uh, Low Carbun said, a unicorn pooping out glitter. Everyone knows that's the best way to get glitter, but I did uh, unicorn all last week, so um, we're unicorned out maybe for another month. At least a month, I would say. Chef Micro chimed in and said, shoo. It's usually what Chef Micro says. Um, Josh also chimed in and said, Kung Fu Animals, which is also a really good... Uh, recommendation kung fu animals maybe someday maybe Josh and I will do some kung fu animals together uh, in a live sketch uh, if I can get him down here he lives up in a, a lot of snow right now so uh, hopefully I can get him down to Camp Pencil Point again to do some live sketching and we will do some kung fu animals but the two I got two suggestions we got two suggestions that were really good well actually here's an honorable mention uh, some Seja it was not in, because in my mind wants to say something totally different, but Sumsasia, Instagram user Sumsasia, loves Sum Sums. Sum Sums. Sum Sasia, maybe? I don't know. I want to call them Sum Sums, but they're Sum Sums. But they look like they look like Sums. Anyway, Sum Sasia said an, an Atlantean inspired stitch, which I think it's like Stitch from Atlantis. And that would be cool. But I don't know if I could uh, do that on a live sketch. But I might do that just for fun. Um, oh, another honorable mention. Did I say Nikki Ears already? Instagram user Nikki Ears said Ninja Cat. And that's pretty fun. Maybe if I do something with Rachel in the, in the near future, we could do a uh, Ninja Cat. But the two that stuck out, the two that stuck out in my mind that were really good Refer, uh, Summer Loves Disney said any, any Disney character. Well, that's usually what I do. But then uh, her daughter, Jasmine, said uh, she loves... <laughs> she, the two animals she loves are jellyfish and llamas. So, like, Jasmine. Jellyfish, it, it's kind of cool. But uh, 
llamas are really cool. So I, I definitely picked a llama to draw for this, as you might have seen in the thumbnail for this. Uh, there was a, a warm up sketch, but it was in the thumbnail for this video. And uh, the other suggestion I got was Alex in Fantasyland, who just completed the Princess Half Marathon at Disney, Walt well, Disney World. So because of the uh, everyone running the half marathon, the princess half marathon, she said, in honor of all of them, how about um, a Disney princess? Which is a good idea. A princess for the, the half marathon. So let's put them together. Let's just mash both ideas together and we'll do a llama princess. Sound good? All right. So we're going to switch over to Luxo Jr. And we're going to start drawing. I'm actually going to move my name, my Instagram, and the wood out of the way so we can get drawing. Move my guys out of the way first. And today, I don't, I think I'm going to use a different pencil today. I have used, in the past, I've used my Paper Mate, Iron Man, because Iron Man's sweet, but this is a nice thick lead that you can purchase from Target. I've also used my non photo blue pencil in the past and I've also used a good old number two just the number two pencil to draw my outline I pretty consistently used my zebra brush which I will use again today but uh, for my pencil for my line work I'm going to use a mechanical pencil and it's going to be a a somewhat thin red lead it's a 0.7 red lead and the reason I'm using red is because it looks cool and the other reason is um, it's kind of like the non-photo blue. You can actually scan in your drawing and eliminate the red. So there's the red pencil. I'm laying it down relatively thin and relatively light. Um, I don't like using mechanical pencils for a finish, but for warm-ups and for underlying drawings, they work well. The reason why I don't like them for finishes is because it's a very thin lead and it's a very consistent lead. So if you're doing a technical drawing, it's perfect. However, if you're doing something with good line weight, it's not going to give you any line weight whatsoever. So be aware that if you're just doing a straight up pencil drawing, but if you're doing something, if you're finishing your drawing in something other than a pencil, then by all means use a mechanical pencil. So I'm just, I just started drawing my simple shapes and you could see my simple shapes. If I drew through, I draw, I draw another one. So let's put another one back there. So my simple shapes, a sphere a circle up here and I have my beans all down here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six beans. Six beans are down there. And now I'm just going to use some line work because uh, llamas are weird shapes and they're fun shapes. I'm just going to add a little bit of line. Let me just check in Instagram or um, checking out. Sorry, I stopped to check out YouTube to make sure I'm still alive, which I am. So hopefully this comes in clear. <clears throat> so what I have here are, are the, the beans, some line work, sphere, some beans. So with that, I want to take this shape and actually cut it in half. The sphere, I'm going to cut in half because that's the one thing I like about shapes is being able to cut through them and use them for different things. They don't have to be that sh same shape that you started with. I'm going to throw a little bit of detail in an eye. I'm going to indicate with the mouth. I'm going to give myself a little indication of that. And there's 
llamas are funny creatures because they have teeth they have a big underbite overbite they have a big under overbite they have a lot of teeth at the bottom and so we have a llama I put a bow on her because I haven't revealed the Disney princess that this llama is well what Disney princess has a bow and a giant collar like this and big poofy sleeves and that kind of works with a llama's big poofy <laughs> big poofy arms it's snow white so it's a snow white llama i'm adding her skirt I'm making some minor adjustments down here with the pencil. I think I could go longer and I could think I could shorten these up too. And I have enough of my drawing in that I'm feeling comfortable to go right to the ink. So once again, I'm going to use my zebra brush pen, which is a pen that gives you a nice long nib that will give you Some good line weight and usually I start out with the things that are most that are closest to you that are most in the front so I'm gonna start with that collar and Snow White is known for that ridiculously stiff somewhat giant collar And I am taking my time now because I have gone to ink. So this is the final line that you will see at the end of the day. Notice I am pressing hard in some areas and then going lighter in some areas. So I get a really thick, like here, line that will go into a really thin line like that. And once you vary your line weight, you add variety to it to make it more interesting looking. So another signature of Miss Snow White are these uh, these like gun gumdrop looking sleeves with the uh, they're blue and then they have the teardrops reds that are like this and these are a great opportunity to use some line weight. And we're going to finish off that dress, the top part of the dress, before it goes into the yellow part below. So before I put the skirt on, actually, I'll have you take a look at that dress. It's kind of hard to see, but it's not really. Uh, the fun thing about llamas llamas are gigantic fuzzballs they're probably like 90 percent fur so i want to have my llama poofing out through the sleeves and the fun thing the other fun thing about llamas is they have really small like legs so they're giant puff balls but they have tiny like really skinny toothpick legs it's going to accentuate that down here put a little more fuzz up there and then they have these crazy hooves so keeping it simple but keeping the character true to a llama we gave it a big poofy arm sleeping seeping out below that s sleeve I'm gonna go hit this with a very straight line that can go from thick to thin and remember when I said in the previous video whenever you have something that's curved that's very curved you like to have something you like to have a line that's really really straight to offset it and this just adds some variety and gives you more of an interesting shape so now we can go in with some texture i'm going to use this pen for all it's worth 
I'm going to push it in some areas and pull it in other areas. Have it go from thick to thin. And have it kind of pop out from the top. Throw a little more texture throughout that neck. And now that we have that neck that's in front, now we can go behind it with the other sleeve. And we'll put a little indication of these teardrops that are synonymous with Miss Snow and those big puffy arms just before you get to the really skinny arm. And there you go. Let's do something fun with the face. Because faces are fun. And I know you're like going crazy that I haven't touched it yet. So draw a happy eye. Because unless Snow White is eating an apple, she is pretty happy. And she could be eating, she could be happy while eating an apple as well. Just as long as it's not that apple. So the eye is a basic shape. Hopefully it focuses in a little better basic shape of a uh, half moon basically cut, cutting a cutting a circle in half again we'll give her a brow and I like giving strong cheekbones to these characters so there's another one some little dots give you a, a sense of texture And like I said, I think Snow White's a genuinely happy princess. Unless she's eating apples. So there's a smile. Let's give her a nose. And another signature of Miss Snow is that bow. We'll give her a nice red bowl, bow. Llamas have these rabbit-like ears. So once again, we're gonna go with simple shapes. These are just like slivers of circles. And we can hollow them out to give them a little bit of form. And another distinguishing characteristic that I touched on earlier for llamas are those teeth. They have some mean teeth on their lower jaw. So we're going to hit things in the foreground first. For the skirt, we can put that in before the rest of it because the skirt wraps around the rest of the body. And llamas have fluffy tails, so let's fluff this guy up. And I drew the bean for that hind leg, for the upper hind leg. Let me get rid of these papers because they're throwing me off. Be gone. And then, like I said before, have a little fun with the shapes. There is a really skinny leg right next to the big chubby fluffy leg. And there are some hooves in the back. And I don't think the skirt will allow you to see the back leg, the fluffy part, but we'll draw the little stick. And the back hoof. I want to give her a little ground to stand on. So I'm just going to simply indicate the shadow. And my big fat sharpie is gone, so I'll just use my little sharpie to fill this in.
So there is my Snow White Llama, and I think if I use markers, it'll smudge. So I will not use a marker. But I will put, where'd my, there it is. Put a little signature at the bottom. And maybe I'll throw a little bit of gray, or should I do a little bit of blue? I think I did blue in the thumbnail, so I'll just go gray. And we're going to fill in that background and the main part what this will accomplish is to provide separation from your character and the background because there's a whole lot of white negative space happening and by toning it back with this marker we create a focal point that is our llama so basically what I said was it makes it easier to see her. You're removing, you're adding contrast. You're removing a lot of negative white space. And you're helping your character pop off a little bit. Almost done. And there we go. There is Snow White Llama. Maybe I could pull out a UV. Where's my red? Pull out a little red, because it works with the red pencil too, but give her that red bow on her head. There she is. We'll hit the teardrops too. If I don't stop, I'll just keep coloring this all night. Okay, so there is snow. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. We'll try some yellow just to finish it off. I'm being very careful, careful as I'm using this marker not to come too close in contact with that black line because uh, that's where the smudges and the smears will happen. Ah, so we're just throwing all the color in. There you go, Jasmine. And Alex in Fantasyland. We have a very happy, because she has not eaten a poison apple yet, a very happy Snow White Llama. So there we go, guys. Here she is. Let's get all our stuff back up. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see what you guys can do. Make a princess out of an animal, or make an animal into a princess, or draw a llama, or do whatever you want. Post it up to social media, hashtag it with can hashtag Camp Pencil Point, and the artist of Camp Pencil Point, whether it's myself or Josh or Emily, Chef Mike or Rachel, Drew or Ruby, we'll keep an eye out for it and comment. We love to see what you can do. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us tonight. We hope you had fun drawing Princess Llamas. Please subscribe once again to this YouTube channel. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button below in the description. That will give you, that will alert you to anytime we upload a new video, anytime I go live. 
or anytime anything happens, subscribe to this channel and you'll be totally covered. Also, check out camppencilpoint.com. We also post up all our videos there. We also post up some drawing tutorials and we have a link so you can meet all of the artists and there's also a link to all of the artists social media accounts. I'm going to put mine back up. I am mostly on Instagram, so you can follow me at jofu22 on Instagram. As I said before, thank you for joining us. I can't wait to see what you guys draw at home. Please keep drawing. Please share the love of drawing. So until next time, draw 20 minutes every night, and this will keep your pencil sharp. No, it'll keep your pencils dull, but your skills sharp. I'm going to get that right sooner or later. Let's start over. Draw at least 20 minutes every night. That'll keep your pencils dull, but your skills sharp. Support the arts and support your favorite artist by following them on, following them on social media, liking what they do, sharing what they do, and giving credit, and leaving a nice comment. Lastly, most importantly, never stop creating and never stop inspiring. Until next time, everyone, keep drawing. Well, that was pretty fun. Come on, pig. Let's go get a churro.